Hi everybody, this is Anna from Simply Skilled in Second. Thank you so much for joining me today. So basically I'm showing you my weekly plan book and because uh, many people have asked me how I run my guided reading groups. Since I've been doing, uh, since I did my webinar and my Q&A on guided math, I had a ton of questions if I can show what I do during guided reading. So I thought the best way to show you is show you how I write it in my plan book and then I'll show you the different activities that I do. So my week works exactly the same every single week. On Mondays, I always do a making words activity where we're making our spelling words and some other words that fit into the same rule um, that our spelling words are following for that week. Our spelling words always follow some type of rule, whether if it's, if it's let's say, a long A, our words will be A-Y and A-I words. And um, our A consonant magic E words are actually in the earlier in the year. So um, every Monday during my small group instruction for guided reading, I focus on word work, focusing on our spelling words for the week and our spelling skill or phonic skill for the week. That's what I work on on Monday. On Tuesday and Wednesday, these are the two days during the week that I focus on reading um, one of our mini books that aligns with our reading program. And sometimes I don't use the mini books, sometimes I'll choose um, other stories that I have or maybe I'll use our main selection um, for the story. But the purpose of these two days is to focus on, of course, reading strategies, um, reading, um, reading fluency, and of course working on some of our um, decoding skills and uh, reading comprehension strategies. So for example, on Tuesday and Wednesday of this, this week coming up, we're going to be focusing on plot. That's what we're going to be focusing on for two days. So I have three reading groups. I have one strategic intervention group. I have one on-level group. And I have one um, advanced group. I'm also going to work, work on monitoring and clarifying when we come to something we don't understand in the story that we're reading. So on these two days, we'll read our, our mini book or read our text, whatever it is that they're, we're we are reading and we're going to work on plot these two days. Now my guided reading group is all about reading, phonics, and responding to literature and being close readers. That's how my week goes and that's what I focus on during guided reading. So again, Monday we do making words during my reading group. Tuesday and Wednesday is when we read our text. We read, them, we read the text both days and then we focus on our comprehension skill for the week. Our comprehension skill this week is plot. And our reading strategy is monitoring and clarifying our reading. So that's what I'm going to focus on on Tuesday and Wednesday. Now on Thursday and Friday, I focus on close reading. I will do the same text two days in a row, and we'll do different types of activities with the, these texts. We'll focus on vocabulary. We'll focus on analyzing the text. We will also annotate, annotate annotate the text with our close reading bookmarks. So that's what I focus on on Thursday and Friday. So now I'm going to show you, and this is exactly how my week runs every single week. Making Words Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday we read our text and we work on the comprehension skill and of course our reading strategy which is monitor and clarify this particular week. And then Thursday and Friday we focus on close reading strategies and I'll do close reading on Thursday and Friday. So let me show you how I do this. Now on Monday with Making Words, what I do is this activity. And I'm actually going to give this to you for free. So this is the activity that I will do every single Monday. And down here, there are letters that my kiddos cut out. And then I say to them, I give them, I give, this is my piece of paper. And I'll say, change. So I'll say, okay, everybody, build the word suit. So um, they'll build the word suit. And then I'll say, okay, change the S in suit to an FR. What word did you make? And then they say fruit. And then we blend it. We go fruit, fruit. And then I go, okay, great. And then we write it down on our paper. Now this one happens, this is for my following week. This one we already did. So we did took, we changed to look, we went to hook, we went to hood, we went to wood, we went to wool. So every time we make a word, we change one of the letters or two of the letters, depending on the word. And then we do our blending strategy. Hook. <sighs> hook. So, and I always, they, we tap our fingers and we pull the word. So it's hook, hook. This is what we do on Monday. It's always making words, building words, 
thinking about word strategies. So that's what I do on Monday, and I'm gonna give this to you for as a freebie, so you can um, make them for yourself to match your to match your words. Now, as I said on Tuesday and Wednesday, we focus on our comprehension skill. So now I'm gonna show you what I do for our comprehension. So this is a project, this is an ongoing project that we do every single week during guided reading. As I mentioned, this upcoming week is going to be plot, and we're gonna be talking about the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. We also may sequence the story, sequence the story using first, next, then, last, or first, next, then, after that, last, and finally, depending on what I wanna work on. So what we do is every week, we do another type of flip flap book for our guided reading folder. And every week we do one of these based on the story that we read. So for example, when we were doing summarizing of a story, this is what we did. We read a story called Rosa and Blanca, and then we created this together in our reading group, and it was how to sequence a story. So we do them on our little fun iPods, or you can even consider them iPhones. So that's when we worked on sequencing. When we worked on cause and effect, we worked on our little Tabbits book for cause and effect. And that went along with the book that we read in reading groups. This is when we were working on facts and details. This was another one we were working on main idea and details. And on each page, we're writing a detail from the story that we read. And then this was when we were working on cause and effect. So, and this was when we were working on pulling out facts from a text. So these are called my guided reading flip-flap books. And I, like I said, I do these every week. I do one every week based on our comprehension skill for the week. And when I'm done and I can fill up a whole folder, this goes home. And what the parents love about this is that they can actually see all of the work that they're doing in reading group, which is wonderful. So this is one of the projects that I do during guided reading. And it, as I said, it takes a period of time to finish. And when I'm done, we send it home. So another project that we do guided reading is my guided reading detective project. This is very similar to our guided reading flip-flap books, except that it's all geared on a uh, detective theme, and the kiddos love it. So we make this fun little briefcase, and then when you open it up, as you can see, there are different skills for each page. So for example, right now, some of them we haven't done, but I wanted to show you what we've done. So this is our investigation report, and this was when we were doing plot, beginning, middle, and end, and then they had to draw beginning, middle, and end, and then they had to write about beginning, middle, and end. So that was our investigation report. This is called title clues, and they had to write about, um, make their predictions about the story based on the title and based on the front cover illustrations. So these we've already accomplished. These are upcoming. So what we're gonna be doing here, this is our top secret vocabulary, and this one comes out like this, and then like this, and we'll be writing um, tier two vocabulary words, and we'll be defining them and illustrating them. This one is a plot. This is probably what I'm gonna be doing this particular week when we work on um, sequencing, a uh, plot, I'm sorry. And then this is all, also can go for sequencing as well. So, and then we'll write about the story that we're reading in our little events in the investigation. Um, this is our fact finder flip uh, tabits book, and I'll also do this when we focus on main idea and facts in the story that we're reading. So these are upcoming, and then I flip over, and these are our next activities that we're gonna be doing. So these we've already done. These two, this is investigation, where we were comparing and contrasting two nonfiction. We were doing insects and arachnids. This again was all during reading group. They drew diagrams, and we compared and contrasted. This is when we were comparing and contrasting two stories. We were comparing two stories here, and that's what they did in What's the Story? And then on this page, again, we don't have everything finished. This is an ongoing project, as I mentioned. This one is called Questioning the Witness. This is when we're working on our questions for the stories that we're reading, who, what, when, where, why, how, and also focusing on the problem and solution. So this will be done when that, when that next comprehension um, skill comes up. This is, we call this the evidence flip, flip, flip flap book. And this one is about the character, how the character was feeling during a certain time of the book, and then providing evidence as to why that character was feeling it. So this is when we're working on characters and traits, and then of course providing evidence. 
And this is another one we'll be doing further on when there are multiple characters in the book. Sometimes I'll choose two characters and we will write about their character traits and of course provide evidence for that character. I may just use one character and pick out the character traits for that particular character. So this is my guided reading detective unit and as I said these are the the, um, the skills and strategies that I do with my guided reading groups um, every week. So I work on this, and this is, I do this simultaneously. So I'm doing detective booklets, and I'm doing my, these guided reading flip-flap book booklets simultaneously. Um, this one, just so you know, my cause and effect habits and my fact and details, um, those are part of my reading comprehension habits. Um, that's where these come from. These other ones are part of my guided reading flip-flap books. So this is my guided reading flip-flap books, and this is my guided reading detectives. So these are the two ongoing projects that we do every single week during reading groups. Now, on Thursday and Friday, as I mentioned, we do close reading. So what I do is I use my read -its, um, one of my favorite things to do. And these are my read -its. They're tri-folds, and um, I'll do one a week. So for example, these two are going to be compared and contrasted. One is fiction and one is nonfiction. So this is called Krista's Old Dog House and it's about using recycl recycled materials and this is about Earth Day, again, about recycling. So this is a, fic a nonfiction, a fiction text that the third week we will then compare and contrast. So this week, we're going to be reading Krista's Old Dog House. We make predictions based on the illustration. And then what we do is we read our text, and we do a close reading of the text using our close reading bookmarks. And then we highlight parts of the text that we have to find and um, figure out. We also focus on comprehension skills, so we talk about what, ca what the character learned, maybe something the character did, but everything, and we also talk about author's purpose. Author's purpose is always part of it. So this is about analyzing and comprehending the text, and then the last part is defining it. Some of those tier two vocabulary words, that's what's here, and of course we always use the text for context clues, and then we always do an um, inferring activity, um, inferring something either about the character or about the story or about the setting. So there's always some type of inferring activity. You know, so they're working on finding details in the text, they're working on comprehension and analyzing the text, they're working on author's purpose, and then they're also working on tier two vocabulary words, and they're also working on inferring. So this one, this one read it. A uh, trifold really hits so many skills. That's why I love to use them. So I will do this for two days. I will do this on Thursday and Friday. Now the following week, I'll bring in this on Thursday and Friday. And this is all about, this is nonfiction on Earth Day. It follows the same format. Highlight it, comprehend it, analyze it, tier two vocabulary, and then um, either, an now on the nonfiction, we analyze. On the fiction, we infer. So nonfiction, we analyze. Then the week after, then we will compare and contrast both texts. So we'll read both texts again, and we'll talk about how they're similar and how they're different. And then we try to make some type of a connection, text to text, text to world, or text to self. So this is three weeks of reading, guided reading plans during Thursday and Friday of each day of the week. So that's what I do. Now, my struggling readers, these are difficult for my struggling readers. Sometimes what I'll do is I will actually read the passage to them and after I read it they are pretty good at being able to answer the questions and highlight the text. But if I feel these are too difficult, if my read uh, my read it's are too difficult for my struggling readers, I will pull in um, the guided reading um, unit from Jen Bengal at Out of This World Literacy. She has a fabulous guided reading um, program that's based on levels. And so this is what I will do with my struggling readers. And it basically has similar activities that I'm doing in my read -its. She focuses on vocabulary. She focuses on comprehension. She focuses on some word work. So this is very similar in terms of what I'm doing in my read -its, but it's on a, on a little bit of an easier level for my struggling readers. So this is what I'll do sometimes with my struggling readers, or sometimes I'll just read the passage to them and we'll, we'll, work, we'll work through the read it together. 
So that was a lot of information. <laughs> so that's basically what I do. Again, Monday I do Making Words. Tuesday and Wednesday I focus on our, our mini books or our story for the week. And then we work on our guided reading flip flap book that focuses on the comprehension skill for the week. Or I focus on my guided reading detective flip flap books that help and we can focus on our comprehension skill. And then on Thursday and Friday, um, I will do a close reading using my read -its. Um, I have right now I, I have read -its for winter themes and spring themes. My summer slash anytime theme will be coming out soon. And then my fall theme will be out um, beginning uh, probably midsummer. So that in a nutshell is my guided reading time. I hope this is helpful. Um, and if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them on my blog and I'll, I'll be happy to answer your questions. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for listening along. Bye-bye.